Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about the OSI reference model. Now, in the previous video, we studied the general architecture of the network, the software architecture, basically, that consisted of different kinds of layers and the protocols uh, that are followed. So, we understood what are layers, what are protocols, interfaces, and so on. So, a network architecture consists of protocols as well as layers and many such network architectures have been defined in the past and one of the most prominent architecture is the OSI reference model. So we will study this model in today's lecture and we will know what it actually is. So OSI stands for open systems interconnection where open system means the systems that means the machines the hosts that are open for communication with other systems okay so all those hosts all those machines which are present in a network and want to communicate with other machines they must follow the osi reference model so this model will definitely be followed by both the ends then only communication will be possible okay now uh, this uh, model was developed by ISO which is International Standards Organization okay so uh, this name you need to remember it is important for your exam also International Standards Organization and why did this organization develop this model this model was developed so as to prepare or to bring out an international standard for protocols at different layers okay so why this model was developed so as to bring forward an international standard so to develop an international standard for layers sorry for the protocols that are followed that are used at different layers okay international standard for protocols at different layers so what does this mean is that iso wanted that a standard should be developed and that standard should define that should be an international standard that means internationally different networks should agree to this standard and this standard will be what protocols that will be used at different layers of the communicating parties okay so iso wanted to develop a standard protocol stack as we have discussed in the previous video also protocol stack is the set of all the protocols used at different layers so iso wanted to develop a standard protocol stack that will be used at different layers of the model so osi model nowadays is also famous for the protocols that it defined those protocols are still used till date but the model itself has become obsolete so there are other models like the tcp ip model and its variations that are now used but the uh, osi model is important because the uh, protocols that it defined became prominent and important okay now why do we call it a reference model we call it a reference model because future models future network architectures can use this as a starting point to develop newer versions and they can use it as a reference okay so future models and here models i mean other uh, network architectures can be based on it can utilize it can utilize it for uh, improving the current structure okay can be based on it so that is why it is known as a reference model now this important point that you must remember is osi reference model consists of seven layers now what are those layers this is the most important thing the name of the layers are the topmost is the application layer the application layer which defines what application the user is running okay so it can be uh, an email it can be a web page it can be a file transfer application and anything then comes the presentation layer so the presentation layer basically takes care of the uh, translation of information that is coming from the 
application layer, the encryption, the compression properties. Then comes the session layer. Now session layer uh, takes care of basically synchronization and dialogue control. We will be understanding these terms in very much detail in the next video also. But as of now, you must know what are the seven layers of the OSI model. Okay. So uh, the next layer after the session layer is the transport layer. Then comes the network layer. After the network layer comes the data link layer and lastly comes the physical layer. So physical layer as you can see from the name it will define and it will take care of the physical things the uh, physical medium of transmission and the connectors the uh, the mode or the how of communication is taking place whether both the parties can talk at the same time or only one can talk and only one can reply and so on so these layers as we number it from bottom to top there are seven layers in the osi model that were initially defined and these are the name of these layers now any network that is following the osi reference model will make all the hosts on that network follow this model and that means that on each host say if we have two hosts host one and host two on each host all these layers will be present so the top would be application then presentation then session transport network data link layer and physical layer will be present on host one and if this host is communicating with host 2, it will be present there also. Okay, So the same model will be followed, will be used by the entire network. Then only communication will be possible. And at each of these layers, some protocol will be followed. Okay, So we have studied protocol in the previous videos also. Previous video that a protocol is a set of rules. And these rules are followed by the uh, processes that are uh, lying on the corresponding layers of the two machines that are communicating. So there will be a protocol that will be followed at each of these layers, the corresponding layers. And these layers interact with each other to provide services to each other and to make the communication actually possible okay so when host one is sending information or starts and uh, starts a communication with host two these layers will interact in a top to bottom manner and when this information reaches the physical layer it will reach the physical medium and then the uh, interaction will be in the bottom to top manner now one thing that we will also study in further detail in the upcoming videos is that the units that are present the unit of information that is transmitted in this communication and at each layer what that unit of information is called so if uh, some information which was started at the application layer of host one comes down through all the layers and reaches the physical layer then at this point at the physical layer the uh, the communication is done in terms of bits that means in terms of zeros and ones at the data link layer we call the unit the data unit that uh, is being communicated as a frame at the network layer it is known as a packet so we uh, also saw in the previous video that each layer attaches its own header and that is what makes the difference between a frame, a packet or a segment or a message at all these layers. Okay, So each of these are known as data units. So uh, the transport layer will have its own transport layer data unit which will be different from the network layer data unit which we know as packet. And what will be the difference? The headers will make the difference. So this was the generic introduction to the OSI reference model. Now in the next video we will study in detail about the functionalities of each of these layers. So stay tuned so that you understand the OSI reference model in detail. Thank you for watching till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.